I like figuring that out. I like yeah, getting into the this nitty gritty. This is gone from a oh. preview to freaking. I don't even what know what parts. This is just bad. We're allowed to touch. We're allowed to fondle and caress and interact with. So, as you can expect, we got into some very steamy waters with each other while we were at the playground, having our little experiments. You see, I wanted to use a sensual therapeutic <laughs> method of alleviating no, the stress no. of Carl. Are but, you, as you can imagine, you because okay? of Carl's antics, he misinterpreted my movements. He misinterpreted what I was attempting to do. And it kind of went downhill from there. Or uphill, depending on your personal presuppositions about homosexual interactions. Anyways, Carl misinterpreted what I was attempting to do to him, and I sort of went along with it as an experimental measure. I must say, the outcome of the experiment I was right not favorable, but as I was still in murky waters, and I was still inexperienced in the art of homosexual interaction. Just, just go so, back to the factory, Carl. Please. Me and Carl decided, you know what? Let's start to get to know each other, but not in the social sense, not in the academic sense, but rather the physical sense and the spiritual sense. And so we began to embrace upon each other in the most elegant and passionate ways. And you see, Carl and I, we fondled each other. We held each other in our arms, and it was a beautiful demonstration of the limitlessness of life. Life is absolutely limitless. If you allow yourself to experiment with your five-year-old friends on the playground. Anyways, this experience with Carl shaped my purchasing preferences because the shape of this cooler strongly resembled a certain appendage that was attached to Carl's body. I will not mention which particular appendage it is, but if you have any ounce of intuition, you might be able to deduce that for yourself. So, how does this experience with my five-year-old homosexual lover have any relevance with the cooler that I selected? Well, as you can expect, the phallic shape of the cooler aroused oh god some very particular emotions within my <laughs> neurological nice. apparatuses and i had such a great proclivity to purchase this particular you've cooler got, you've got it's almost you've as got. if i couldn't resist so on that day i ordered the cooler from amazon and well i just could not wait for it to come i was dreaming about it I was salivating over it, and quite frankly, it was all that I could keep on my mind. So, as I began on my journey to acquire this piece of hardware which strongly resembled the phallic appendages of my five-year-old lover, homo-erotic lover, I realized that I didn't have to stop there. I could live my life as an extension of coral. In order, in order for me to fulfill his wants and his desires for me to remember him. And so I decided to apply that to every aspect of my hardware purchases. And as you can imagine, I began to purchase items known as Red, Green, Blue. These items allow you to express every color on the homoerotic spectrum. And as you can imagine, this may have had some implications for the performance of my hardware, but nonetheless, the sentimental attachment that I had to my hardware due to my homoerotic experience superseded any sort of presuppositions or any sort of uh, apprehensions that I might have had about my hardware. a whole gallon of pre-workout. So, how did we get and this me, cooler? And me and my brother began to start drinking white liquid secreted 
the genitals of a man known also as baby matter by the down. So, once the cooler came into the mail, I did unspeakable things to it. I oh caressed God. it. So, I found the mother the cooler doing it. How do you go from, from f pretty much three fucking five year olds on a playground to the monster cooler? Like, explain to me. Monster cock cooler, huh? So, once the cooler came into the mail, I began to embrace it, I began to fondle and caress it, and in a sense, molest it. But as I previously mentioned, Amazing. consent Great. does Those not matter. Cooler. Consent does not matter. When experiencing sexual arousal in the form of spiritual nirvana is of utmost importance. And the spiritual nirvana that I was seeking could not be accomplished without molesting the cooler that had just come to the mouth. So as this I was guy is a secret cooler, alien trying to communicate with us, I'm telling you guys, this is not normal. So as I was caressing the cooler, and I was experiencing a different species, spiritual species. He's a, he's nirvana. I began to began to orgasmically express myself. Speak, speak. And since that day, I had not even the slightest thought of doing away with that cooler, for I had a sexual relationship with it now. And sexual relationships, as I previously mentioned, are important to each and every human being, regardless of whether they are consensual or not. Now, once I inserted that cooler into my computer, I decided that I would attempt to create the best piece of gaming hardware possible for looking at Carl pictures. Now, once I fully assembled the computer, I modified the software so that Carl would appear on every corner, every nook and cranny of the Windows 10 operating system. My home screen was Carl. My lock screen was Carl. My icons were Carl. Carl was the computer. And as I began to use the computer, I began to use Carl. And, similarly, as I began to overclock the computer, I was, in a sense, exploiting the computer for my own pleasure. Do you have just it, like, as I exploited Carl for my own pleasure. Desk? Now, Do you have exploitation, script? exploitation <laughs> for the sake of pleasure is not necessarily immoral. If you have the hopes of achieving sexual nirvana, which Maybe was totally my primary hope. So, as I began to indulge into this cybertronic sexual nirvonic experience, it became apparent to me that th this cooler may have been lacking what I really needed. You see, s sexual nirvana is of utmost importance. That is true. But there are also other pleasures in life. Exploiting five-year-olds is not the only way to enjoy oneself. And so I decided that I would okay, shift Finley, Finley, my listen, we're interest. gonna give you a minute of silence, we're not gonna say anything. Okay. Just speak, speak your heart out, say what's on your mind. Yeah, man. So, as I mentioned before, I exploiting wanna... five-year-olds for sexual pleasure is not the only joy of life. There are other things which one must experience in order to live a complete and consummate human existence. And that includes playing video games with crisp edges. With high refresh rates and smooth, smooth monitors. Now, there was a great dilemma, a great moral dilemma. Stepmon, sorry to cut you off, because you're all this place. Just speaking the Please. greatest words known to man. But I just want to say, I am in a Discord call with three other people, and we are all just losing our fucking minds. So the sexual exploitation of Carl laid the groundwork for me to extend my interests and passions, as I began to realize that in a sense, the sexual accomplishment of a man cannot 
truly, truly be evaluated in the same context other forms of enjoyment and pleasure. So I began to extend this into, well, as I mentioned before, high-level gaming performance. Now this brings all the way back to our Corsair H100T cooler. Now, should I give up the cooler to achieve more gaming performance, or should I keep it for the sake of honoring the memory of Carl? This was a dilemma that I experienced. Because please don't keep well, it, I don't want As I mentioned anymore. before. As I mentioned before, I had a sexual relationship with the cooler and I didn't and want to yes, leave that behind. No. I wanted to cherish it. I wanted to hold it dear and dear to my heart. But alas, at this crossroads a decision must have been made. And I decided to purchase a brand new CPU cooler. Now you may be asking, oh, is there any sort of uh, pedophilic backstory behind the purchase of this? Well, not exactly. Instead, the backstory behind me purchasing this was inspired by my experiences with bestiality. Oh, 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 no. As I Why are you switching between all these topics so well, though? Dude, As I mentioned before, this man is a better than two pack. I've been recording this conversation for like two minutes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm playing OBS open. I'm gonna make. I'm not, I'm not sure this is going to be to the FBI case. This, no, dude, this is gonna be the new fucking no food. As I mentioned before, there are certain experiences which one must attain in order to live a consummate, complete, respectable life. Now, I had already accomplished one of those on my playground days with Carl, but I wanted to extend it. I wanted to add another one to my collection, so to speak. And how did I do that? Well, I'll answer that question quite plainly. It was a warm summer evening, and the sun was setting in the distance. And as I began to wind down for the evening, I noticed my feline specimen sitting on a perch in all her beauty. She appeared oh, no. so Please. elegant in that particular situation. I began to be reminded of the experiences that I had with Carl. We have captured the and so point. it began. I slowly <laughs> entranced no. before the cat as I made my way toward her. I tried my best to induce seductive maneuvers towards this feline specimen, and it did appear to be working. As I approached the cat, I made soft purring sounds in order to emulate the behavior of a particular mating partner. The mating sounds would go as follows. So, as you could imagine, things began to spiral downward out of control from there. And I ended up reliving the experience that I had with Carl. <coughs> now, how exactly did this inspire the purchase of my next cooler? Well, I will tell you. So after I finished up with my cat, I noticed there was a little bit of red fluid being secreted from the back end of the cat's body. Now, I'm not any anatomic expert, but I would like to think that this red fluid was just some... Um, let's just say... Well, it's not a very clean bodily fluid. And this sense of unsavory circumstances, it sort of inspired me to relinquished the conventional ideas of disgust and virology and immunology. You see, we become so akin to the idea that certain things are disgusting beyond even conception. It's inconceivable, for example, that you would suck on your mother's toe. But why is this? Well, you might say, feet are nasty. I would strongly disagree with this sentiment, 
many scientists have proved that the toenails are in fact some of the cleanest surfaces on the body if groomed to perfection. So, as you can imagine, I had no issue stepping in to the untethered boundaries of experience with my cat and I decided to relinquish these conventional ideas of disgust not just in the sense of something containing germs or bad odor but also taboos see there is no actual tangible justifiable rhetoric for avoiding taboos we all in some sense have to step into these areas which defy our comfort zone and that's exactly what I did with my cat I'm uploading this entire match to fucking YouTube. This went on and on for two matches, actually. The rounds, but... Yeah, he's going to jail. At first it was literally just a, a weird tech review, but then it turned into this. At least he didn't, uh... fuck dead bodies. Unless... I, I can't wait to see this on YouTube. Honestly, this is just gonna be crazy. We have a bot. No, Finley's on the other team. Yeah. Oh shit. Prepare to compete in 30. Well, still. Control point enabled. Alert. The control point is being captured. 